This guide shows you how to download and install the new Microsoft Edge in Windows 7. Now the new Microsoft Edge was launched on the 15th of January 2020 and it's based on the Chromium source so therefore it is actually compatible with devices such as Windows 7 devices. It's also available on Android, iOS, Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10. So how do we download it and install it on Windows 7? Well first of all we open up Internet Explorer so if you have another browser then you can open up that but everyone on Windows 7 should have Internet Explorer. Okay, once Internet Explorer is open, go to the address bar right at the very top of the screen and just left click once just to the right of whatever's in it and then press the delete key or the backspace key just to delete out anything that's in there. And then we type in there microsoft.com forward slash edge. So that's microsoft.com forward slash edge. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. OK, so it now come up with this screen saying introducing the new Microsoft Edge and it should say download for Windows 7. If it doesn't say download for Windows 7, if it says something else, click on the little down arrow here and then select Windows 7 from the list. OK, so let's just left click download for Windows 7. OK, so we've got the licensing terms to agree to here. So you can accept you can help microsoft improve product by sending crash reports etc but that's purely optional i'm not going to select it but that's entirely up to you move your mouse over accept and download and left click once okay so it says your download will begin shortly so it says at the bottom of the screen do you want to run or save microsoft edge setup so move your mouse over save left click once okay and we'll just wait for it to download shouldn't take too long so it now says the microsoft edge setup download has completed move your mouse over run and left click one left click once on run Okay, the screen will darken and it should say, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Well, as long as the program name is Microsoft Edge Update and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then it's okay to left click yes. If it doesn't, then left click no and abort the installation. So this is okay. So I'm gonna move my mouse over yes, left click once. And it now says get in the new Microsoft Edge. OK, so uh, it's, this bit might take a bit of time because this is going to download the main program, whereas the thing we downloaded just now was just the setup for it. So uh, depending on the speed of your internet connection, this might take a little while. As you can see, it gives you a estimated time remaining at the bottom there. So uh, we've got seven seconds to go. So uh, just give it a few seconds. And it now says download done. And now it's installing Microsoft Edge. This bit again might take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your computer. And here we go. Now that's disappeared. It's uh, it's now downloaded. So okay. So as you can see down the bottom here, we have this new little uh, icon here, and this is the Microsoft Edge logo. And it says welcome to Microsoft Edge. Okay. So let's move our mouse over, get started, and left click once. OK, so we can import our data from Internet Explorer if we want by left clicking on this option here. And that should import our, I think, our home screen and our favourites into Microsoft Edge. Or we can continue without importing. So uh, let's click on import. I don't know if I've got anything to import, but uh, let's just give that a go. OK, then we click next. And it asks us about our new tab page. So do we want inspirational? informational or focus tab page 
as you can see, there's a little preview going on behind when we select each of those. So select what's right for you, then left click next. And if you have a Microsoft account, you can sign in to sync your data to other devices. So that's if you've got a Microsoft account or if you want to set up a Microsoft account, you can do that by clicking sign in to sync data. When you finish, just move your mouse over done and left click done. And there we go, Edge is now ready and waiting for you. And like I say, it, is, it does look a little bit like Google Chrome because it's based on the same code as Google Chrome, but uh, should be a lot safer for you to use than Internet Explorer. But incidentally, as support has now ended for Windows 7, then really you should be considering upgrading your system to Windows 10 or buying a new system with Windows 10 already pre-installed on it. Well, I hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.